We're live with Coach David Patrick. Coach, let's go ahead and let these ride for you, man. Come on, yes, sir. Coach, you had a hell of a first season yeah, uh, as the the Sac State men's basketball coach. I know, I know, it didn't come to a conclusion uh, the way you wanted it to. I know some of those goals that you guys uh, set out for yourselves it, you, it fell short of those, man. But there's no way, uh, looking back at this season, Coach, it could be considered anything but a success. Look, when you have time to reflect, and I did yesterday some uh, with my staff, you know, to make the quarterfinals and, and, and get a buy in the first round is important. You know, it's hard to it's hard to do that w w when you're building a program. And, uh, you know, to win 14 or 15 games was, was great for us. Sorry, 14 games was, was huge for us in year one and just tells you that the foundation is laid and, and, and going in the right direction. Yeah, no, you guys did uh, a really good job this year, especially yourself, Coach, laying the foundation for what I – believe is to come uh, and a lot of other people do as well man but you know I, I was I, I enjoyed watching this team this year they were competitive um, the games were almost always close you know which was entertaining in itself and you know there was some that the ball bounced your way and some where they didn't but um, this team fought all year long and, and I saw that when I came to the practice before the season started I said this team they all get after it and they carried that all the way through to the final buzzer no, they they did, man. And I think I I came in here saying it's it's hard to do everything in one year, but I think trying to get these guys better defensively and tougher, which and I I measure toughness by rebounding, and we're top twenty in the country. Country rebounding means that they they bought in. Um, obviously, you can't can't control where the ball goes in the rim every night, um, and how you're going to take care of the ball like happened on on Monday night. But you 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 know your team by how tough they are and how they compete, and if they're not going to quit, and if you have that standard then I can plug and play from there. And I think that's been set uh, by the seniors that were here and, and the guys that, that came into the program and know what's expected uh, moving forward. Yeah, Coach, you talk about making changes that first year. I looked up some numbers for some coaches that uh, I know you know well. Uh, 10 and 18, 14 and 5, 18 and 15, 25 and 10. Mm. Those were Dawn Staley's numbers her first four years at South Carolina. 3 and 1, suspended season, 17 and 13, 25 and six this past year. Those are Carol Lawson's numbers at Duke. Mm. Wow. Like it, 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 it takes time, man. And it's, it's tough to get in that the first year, especially when you got things like the transfer portal and, and different things like that. Hell coach, we don't even have to look that far. We could look at what coach Campbell's doing mm -hmm. uh, with the women's squad and you guys 14 wins. He had 14 wins last year. You, you, you had that number this year. Uh, they're playing for the Big Sky Championship uh, in a couple hours, or shoot, in a couple minutes, top of the hour. Minutes, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and, and and we'll be excited when 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 both of you are playing for the Big Sky Championship yeah. next season. Yeah. No, but the, the the two ladies you spoke about, and Coach Staley and Coach Lawson, I've, I've looked up to. You came, you know, Coach Staley's a little bit older, and then obviously Kara's done a great job as a player and coach, and that's kind of what I look at. I'm just, I just don't look at the men's side. You what you want to see how people. Who, who are great build programs, and that's what you're talking about. You know, I look at Kennesaw State, uh, who made the, made the championship on the men's side. My man Amir there was about to quit and go be an assistant last year. They won like three games, and this year they won 20, 26, I think. You know, and so, um, you know, they did it the right way. Uh, I think those three people in particular didn't bend on what their what what they thought culture was going to be, and sometimes you do. I think you, sometimes you try to get the quick fix and. I didn't do that this year. I won't do it moving forward. And I think those that see us from the outside want to be a part of something special, uh, which is going on here at Sac State and in the city of Sacramento. Yeah, no, absolutely, Coach. And you talk about, you know, building something and trying to turn something around. And, you know, that that starts maybe even started <laughs> already for you for 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 next season. I mean, the life of a college basketball coach, D1 college coach, you know, we we hear stories about last game of the season. Hell, the the teams that win the national championship, they they celebrate in the locker room and they're on the phone with the recruit. You know, at that moment. So, like, what does that look like for you, coach? What's the, what's the schedule? What's the? I know the recruiting probably has already started. Like, how does that work for you guys? I, I know there was like a national signing day not too long ago, but is that just one of multiple national signing days? You got some more going on. Like, what what's what's on the schedule? Look, it's you know, in this day and age, is is so much different than it was a year ago. It's the the, the transfer portal is real, um, and the, the Monday is the first day you can put your name in the transfer portal. Um, mm -hmm. so free agency somewhat's already started in in our world, 
Uh, if you're a graduate transfer, meaning that you've finished your eligibility, but you have one more year to play, or well, sorry, your academic eligibility, you can be in the portal already. Uh, so we've already reached out to some kids that happen uh, right away on uh, tra- uh, recruiting never stops. But but obviously on Monday night, uh, it got a little bit more intense because now I can get out and see kids. So uh, I'm taking off today uh, somewhere. Um, can't tell you where <laughs> I'm taking off somewhere uh, yeah, to go to go find some more help. And uh, and then hopefully I'll be back tomorrow to watch them Kings play. Um, but yeah, we're, we're trying to we're trying to up, 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 upgrade our roster, um, and it goes both ways. Sometimes you find out some players feel they don't fit your system, or some mm-hmm. players feel they're not 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 part of you. So you got to be ready for that. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. Um, but we, we, but we need to upgrade. You know, I want to be able to play on Monday night. Oh, sorry, on, on Wednesday night, like uh, like Mark Coach Campbell is today, uh, mm-hmm. this time next year. And the only way you do that is by getting good people and good players in your program. The, uh, real, real quick, I just want to ask, Coach. Like, um, and you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. It's just something I'm, I'm asking. What specifically are you looking for? Like, are you looking for shooters, uh, defenders? You don't have any eligibility. Left. I mean, Stop I'm it. just. Could you know where I was going? You no, know, he, like, he wants to. He wants to. He shooters, wants to I'm here. Play defense. Grad Stop student. It. Grad student. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm looking for makers. We got a whole bunch of shooters, so I need some makers. So we got, we don't get... <laughs> well, I'm out. <laughs> Yeah. The um yeah, but I think skill like skill. I think you you want skill, whether that be shooting, passing, um, you know, size. You know, we lose Callum McCray, who was, you know, was all league player. Um, and we have some guys coming in, but it's gonna be hard to replace. So an, an older veteran um in the post that can give us some more help there. And then I think you can never be uh, lacking of guards. You know, I think we we were thin at the guard spot either due to injury or guys not being able to make it in the country. Uh, with guys we signed, you know, we played this year five scholarships under, and so um, in saying that, uh, we 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 can upgrade in those positions. But skill and size is what we're looking for. I don't know. I'm doing the math. Sierra Canyon lost. <laughs> coach, Coach Patrick, LeBron, Bronny James foregoing the NBA draft to go help Sac State win the Big Sky Championship yes, next year. We got to get um, that NIL right for him, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there'd be a long list of Sacramento businesses. I mean, hey, that Dr. Then, Lance, maybe Dr. Dr. Lance might be able to help. Dr. Lance, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, Sky River, Infinity. We'll get we'll get everyone we know involved on this. Um, <laughs> Man, the owner, the Vic, what's, what, what's the owner name? Vic. Vic. Yeah. <laughs> that's, my, that's my uncle, Coach. Uncle V. Yeah, uncle well, V. You know, yeah. I call uncle, him. Uncle play uncle. Well, invite me to Thanksgiving. Man. That's your uncle, man. Let's get let yeah. <laughs> Uh, you get, you get a chance to, you get a chance to catch your breath anytime soon, man, a little, I, I'll tell you this. I was this close to getting on the plane this morning to go to Boise, uh, to, to obviously, uh, support coach Campbell. And, um, and, and I had to just actually take care of my business meeting our team. And so, um, I, I pulled the plug, but I'll, I'll, I'll get a break in May, to be honest, man. I, I, I turn it up right now in terms of recruiting. I'll either, I'll be in the country. I'll be out of the country over the next few weeks and just try to keep, keep this, uh, this, this program going the right direction. I looked off into space for a minute. Cause I was thinking, what month is it? He's talking <laughs> May, man. Yeah, that's May. the last college coach, man. That's <laughs> tough. I know. That's I got tough. home yesterday. My daughter was like, let me hear it, dad. Where are you going? And I hadn't been home <laughs> yet. So she knows, um, and they're, they're embracing of it. But, uh, I try to take them sometimes, but that's the first thing came out of her mouth for, for a 12 year old, like, where are you going? Let's hear it. So, do you, uh, she do you, ever, do you ever step away from basketball for a couple of weeks? I know you're like me, like, you love who? Like, I'm watching high school, college, the pros. In the summer, I'm watching the basketball tournament, I'm watching some all this other stuff. But in August, I kind of say, you know, let me just chill for basketball for a little bit so i can gear back up is there you're you're a coach of a di- division one basketball program though like is there ever a time when you're not locked into what's going on in the basketball world it's hard man and i'm and i'm i take about a day or two to go to cabo or aruba somewhere you know i don't know if i can go down there anymore with what's going on but but you know the you know i coached the strain i'm an assistant on the australian national team so august i got to go do the world cup in August, which is 45 days. And you get back mm. here in September and you, and you ramp it up again. So I wish, uh, you know, for my family and stuff, I have more time off uh, to do that. Um, but no, I don't, I don't really take, take time off, you know, at all. 
especially when you're running a program that's so much going on, whether it be academics, summer school, you know, my yeah. national team, there's it's, it's a lot going on, as, as, y- as y'all know. Yeah. I, I, here's how I heard that. I go down to Cabo for a day or two. <laughs> the family's down there for like seven to 10. <laughs> I get to go see them for a day or two, hop back on a plane. Because uh, it's hard to just switch off because you know your email or something's going. Yeah. And I, and I wish we could, but when you're dealing with 18 to 23 year olds, man, just something comes up constantly, oh, man. It's, it's oh, awesome. man. You dudes are emotionally unstable, man. <laughs> wait, wait till they get to be in their mid 30s and 40s. It gets worse. It doesn't get better. They lie to you. Uh, coach, man, we, we're, we're, we're so proud of you, coach, man. We were, we're so happy to be a, a, a very small part of this journey, uh, that you went on this year. Uh, and we're really, really excited for what you and, 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 and the rest of that amazing athletic department are, are building over there, uh, at Sac State, man. And, and we're excited to get on this rocket, sh- rocket ship, uh, next year and see where it takes us. Mm-hmm. No, you're a huge part of it, man. And I, 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 I... I really like you that you embraced me and my program since I got here. You know, I think there's a genuine friendship there. And, you know, when people say you're going to leave Sac State, I'm like, no, just not just because of the university, but because of the people here. So I'm just hopeful we can bring you guys a championship one day here in the near future. Yeah, it's going to happen. Hey, Coach, yeah. we got to we got to break bread. We got a champagne yeah. and campaign a little bit, man. You got come on. We're going we gonna, to we gonna set it up. I'm in there. I got hours now. I ain't got days, but I got a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we we're we're we're, work, we're working something out with coach for uh for next week so maybe we'll finally have the opportunity to uh to grab that 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 dinner man um coach we appreciate you uh hope Great to see job, you tomorrow man. night man and again uh tremendous tremendous first year at sac state thanks so much as always guys